A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, I saw a news article about um, George Lucas doing a Star Wars TV series. And as a Star Trek fan, I was very threatened because Enterprise had been cancelled and, I mean, I always thought that Star Wars was a very small story. It was basically just good and bad, light and dark, Luke and Darth Vader, very simple and epic and um, event movies and that, but I didn't really see how they could turn that into a series, how they could replicate that on an episode-by-episode -episode basis. I didn't think a Star Trek a Star Wars series could work. Star Trek was different. Um, it was just a multitude of different stories. You know, it was all about, you know, difference and diversity, whereas Star Wars was very much just about the big sort of, the one sort of, sort of good versus evil sort of battle. Um, and I didn't see how they could make that into a series. Now, I know they did a cartoon series with Clone Wars and that, but I never watched that. So when they were they announced, um, I think Mandalorian was first, I sort of thought, well, I guess if they're just going to explore one part of the culture, one group, one race, that could be interesting, that could work. People wouldn't expect lightsabers and a big epic duel at the end of every episode. You know, it wouldn't sort of be that same story. Um, it went okay for a couple of seasons but people have complained about the third season I don't know if it's a, um, a chud thing or if it really has issues I haven't seen it now um, Obi-Wan should have been a movie sounds like it was a bit dragged out um, the other one about the guy who dies before the first film um, I forgot the name of the episode that, that apparently wasn't very Star Wars but was very good in its own right and now we come to Ahsoka now I haven't seen it um, but everyone's complaining about it, um, and I think it's part of what I initially feared, that um, the individual characters and stories don't necessarily support a show. They're not big enough um, for their own story in some ways, or if the story's not told properly, you know, people are not going to engage with it. The complaints I've heard about this, aside from the basic Chud stuff, is that it is kind of slow and drawn out and... I think in a few cases they had a bunch of movies lined up, like Obi-Wan, um, and Ahsoka, pro Ahsoka probably would have gotten the film, but instead they've done a series, and they do just seem to have adapted movies into series and just dragged things out, and there are complaints of a lot of sort of just, you know, filling time. So that's the only legitimate criticism I feel like the show has gotten. The rest just seems to be chuddy stuff. But um, I had to comment on it because I just was reflecting on the whole thing. Like I said, I remember just being really threatened as a Star Trek fan with the idea of a Star Wars show. Now, that never happened originally because George wanted a guarantee of 100 episodes and four seasons up front, and no one would sign up for that. Um, so it didn't happen. Um, but later, as after Disney bought it, of course, they started doing the series and that. And it is sort of hit and miss at this point. Um, I wish I could remember the name of the other series. I can't believe I can't remember it. You start a video and you just assume you're going to remember stuff. You don't always write stuff down. But, um, Andor, that's it. Apparently, that's a really good series, and I'm sort of wanting to watch it because it sounds interesting. And, I mean, parts of the Star Wars story, the Rebellion, looking at the individual battles and how those um, groups were formed and all that, that sounds like it could be a good series. It could be interesting, but it doesn't mean it is going to be. So they're not always going to have a hit with all these shows. And part of the problem is... It's really about just, you know, using the IP. And you know that these people are just sitting around a table going, okay, what can we get out of this? What can we, you know, what more can we squeeze out of this? You know, how much more blood can we get out of this rock? Okay, well, these are all the characters. Let's just give them all a movie or all a TV series and just assume that they can all carry one. Um, I'm not sure that's going to work. And part of it is there is a insincerity of it all. It's just like, well, we have to do, you know, I don't know how they've worked this out. Is it fans have been saying we want a Ahsoka series, so they do one? Or do they just look around and go, what characters do we have that have a following or a known or a popular? Oh, Ahsoka, okay, we'll do a series on her. And then it's like, go write a series. Is there a story there? Or, you know, are they just using the character because they're popular? I don't know. Um, I'm not a big enough Star Wars fan. I don't know enough about Star Wars to be a really informed critic, unlike Star Trek, where I'm an expert and I know everything. Star Wars is a lot different. Um, I'm not really a general Star, Star Wars. I'm not really a general science fiction fan that watched one series or another. I'm a Star Trek fan who likes science fiction in general, but I'm more of a Star Trek fan first. And Star Wars was just one of the shows or one of the movies that I sort of watched 
in amongst that whole sort of general sort of range of science fiction films. So I'm not going to claim to have any... Um, I'm just going to stop talking. It's It's been five minutes. But um, feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I'm going to watch the show. I'm going to dedicate some time. I'm going to get Disney Plus, pay for it for a month. Um, I don't have unlimited data at the moment, but I'm going to be getting it soon because um, I finally have it in my area. It's, I think it's been around for a while, actually, but I just wasn't paying attention. But once I do that, I'm just going to spend a bit of time with each streaming service and catch up on the shows that I've missed because I haven't watched any of, any of the... Um, Star Wars shows. I saw a bunch of scenes from um, The Mandalorian and reviewed based on other people's reviews and that's it. So I'm looking forward to watching them and um, I'll do season reviews when I've actually seen them. But um, I'm going to go.